tired of Windows 11 forced updates, ads, and bloat? Or maybe you're just looking for a Linux desktop that actually feels premium without hours of tweaking. Zorin OS has been turning heads for years as one of the most polished ways to ditch Microsoft. But the Pro version now costs $59. That's a real money for a Linux distro. In this video, we are going deep. What do you actually get for that price in late 2025 or 2026? Is any of it truly exclusive? And most importantly, is it worth your hard-earned cash? Or should you stick with the excellent free core edition? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As of November 2025 or coming 2026, the latest release is Zorin OS 18, built on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. We support all the way to at least June 2029. The free core version is fantastic, but Zorin OS also sells a Pro Edition for $59, including tax in most regions. It's a one-time purchase, no subscription, and today we are doing a no-nonsense breakdown to help you decide if that upgrade is justified. Now, the free foundation. What do you get without paying? First, let's give credit where it's due. Zorin OS Core is already one of the best free operating systems you can install today. Out of the box, it looks and feels incredibly familiar if you're coming from Windows 10 or Windows 11. You get a clean bottom taskbar, a start menu style app launcher, system tree with quick settings, and rock solid performance even on older hardware. The customized GNOME desktop is smooth, animations are tasteful, and VLAN support means better security and fractional scaling for high DPI screen. Software installation is dead simple, thanks to the redesigned software store that pulls from Ubuntu's repositories, Flatpak, and Snap all in one place. Need Chrome, Spotify, Zoom, Discord, or Steam? One click. LibreOffice, Firefox, or Brave in newer builds. VLC, everything essential is pre installed or instantly available. For Windows features, the built in Windows app support, which is based on the latest Wine, lets many.exe installer just works. And gaming performance through Steam Proton is excellent with up to date NVIDIA. AMD or Intel drivers included. In short, for web browsing, office work, media consumption, and light creative tasks, Core Edition is more than enough for 95% of users. Most people who try the free version never feel the need to pay. Now, unlocking the Pro version, the $59 feature breakdown. So, what exactly does the $59 buy you? First, the more desktops layout by Azorin appearance. Core gives you the main Windows like layout, plus a couple of variations, touch optimized classic GNOME. Pro unlocks 8 premium layouts, a spot on Windows 11 style, Mac OS style with dock and gesture support, Chrome OS like, Windows Classic, XP era, Ubuntu Unity style, Elementary OS, Linux Mint, and a compact panel option. These aren't just themes, they are full workflow changes, different app launchers, taskbar behavior, gesture sets, and window management. For power users who switch workflows or just love customization, this is genuinely useful. Now, number two, a massive bundle of pre installed premium and creative apps. Pro comes loaded with professional grade tools you normally have to hunt down and configure yourself. For example, Video editing, which is Kden Live for advanced. Image editing, which is GIMP, which is Photoshop compatible. Vector or illustration, which is Inkscape. 3D modeling and Hollywood grade FX, which is Blender. Audio workstation, which is Audacity plus extras. Animation software, which is 3D CAD, mind mapping tools, ebook reader, account software, Promodore timer, a screen recorder, the password manager ambient sound player, and more. Plus productivity gems like Deskflow, share on mouse or keyboard across multiple PCs. Plus journal++ plus plus for handwritten notes. Planify task manager, and wireless screencasting. All of these are open source and free to install manually on core. 
but having them pre-configured and ready on a fresh install saves hours. Especially for creative pros or anyone setting up a new machine. Now, number three, exclusive wallpapers and visual polish. A curated set of beautiful abstract, fluid and radiant wallpapers you won't find in core version. Number four, official installation support. If something goes wrong during setup, you can email the Zorin team directly for help. For complete beginners or anyone nervous about dual booting, this peace of mind is huge. You can also upgrade an existing core install to Pro without reinstalling. Just pay and run the upgrade tool. Now, value proposition. Is the cost justified for you? So let's break it down by user type. For casual user or Windows refugee, stick with the core edition. You get 95 to 98 percent of the experience for free. The extra layouts and apps are nice, but rarely essential. Now, creative professionals, video, photo, 3D, and for music, Pro starts looking attractive. That bundle creative suit would easily cost hundreds if you bought commercial equivalents like Adobe, etc. And having everything pre-tuned saves serious setup time. Now, power users or enthusiasts who love customization. The extra layouts and gestures are genuinely fun and productive once you try them. Now, for family or for shared PC or less tech savvy users. The official support alone can justify the price if it prevents hours of frustration. Now, compared to other premium options, a year of Microsoft 365 Personal is about the same price and locks you into subscriptions. Buying a new Windows 11 license is $139 plus. For a one-time $59, Zorin Pro gives you forever license. You can use on all your personal machines. Now for long term, your purchase directly funds a small independent team keeping the distro polished and beginner friendly. Future point releases, for example, 18.1, 18.2, etc. are included for free. Now, beyond the features, the intangibles of Pro. There is also the psychological side. Using the premium version just feels good. No nagging upgrade banners, beautiful exclusive artwork, and knowing you are supporting developers who are actively making Linux more accessible. Many users report higher day-to-day -day satisfaction simply because everything looks and works a bit more refined. Now, the final verdict. Who should buy Zorin OS Pro? After testing both versions extensively in late 2025 or coming 2026, here is the honest take. If you are on a budget, new to Linux, or just need a solid daily driver, download the core edition right now. It's phenomenal and you won't feel shortchanged. If you want the absolute most polished, ready to go experience, love switching between macOS, Windows, Chrome OS workflows. Do any kind of creative work or simply want to support one of the best projects in desktop Linux. Pro is worth the $59. It's not necessary, but it's genuinely valuable for the right person. Personally, I run Pro on my main machine because those extra layouts and the creative bundle make my workflow faster and more enjoyable. But I started with the core and was perfectly happy for months. What do you think? Would you pay for Zorin OS Pro? Or is free always better? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Smash that like button if this helped. And subscribe for more honest Linux content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.